Mike Stuchiner, Master Herbalist here with Z Natural Foods. And today's topic of discussion is going to be wholesome versus partsome. Uh, I'm going to start today's uh, video with a very profound um, expression. The whole is in fact greater than the sum of its parts. And when I say that, what I'm referring to is the understanding of taking isolated vitamins and nutrients or taking the whole food itself, okay? <clears throat> you have an industry that's worth billions of dollars that is solely built on the idea and understanding of isolating vitamins and the isolated nutrients in those in those pills or capsules or whatever or whatever it comes in uh, having some value or therapeutic effect on the human body and then when you look at the studies what you find out is you find out the truth about what you're reading the truth is, is majority, I'm not saying all, but I am going to say, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that majority of what you read for research on nutrients and their, their nourishing and therapeutic value in, in supporting a healing process is based off of the whole food and not an isolated substance, okay? Here's, here's a quick breakdown and understanding of why the whole is always going to be better than the parts, okay? So let's just say we'll take something like lutein or lycopene, which is a part of the carotenoid family, okay? You can use as much lutein and lycopene as you want, and in the end, as an isolated substance, it is incapable of giving the body the nourishment it needs because you're only going to absorb a small part of what you take in. The reason is because the body does not know how to effectively and efficiently use specific individual isolated nutrients. The body does in fact understand and know how to use the whole complex of nutrients, all the carotenoids, and that is why things like carrots or tomatoes and other foods that are specifically rich, you know, the, the oranges and the yellow foods specifically, that are rich in those carotenoids and the carotenoid complex. That's why you get a true therapeutic value from eating those foods. The other nice thing about it is, is that contrary to popular opinion, you don't need massive amounts of any of these things. If you need a massive amount of any one of these things, it would be found in that food naturally at that level. So I'm going to give you another great example. Let's take vitamin C and then we'll take food sources like acerola, cherry or camu camu berry. Okay. Um, how many times have you heard people say, Linus Pauling said you need 10,000 milligrams of vitamin C a day? Or you hear about people who have 50, 100, 250,000 milligrams of intravenous vitamin C on a daily basis, okay? Why do you think that the effects are not very good? Or why do you think that when most people take an enormous amount of synthetic vitamin C like ascorbic acid or any of these other uh, unnatural forms of vitamin C, why do you think it runs right through them? They get the runs or they feel nauseous or they get all these negative effects from it, okay? It's because the body is not meant to be able to take something in its isolated form. It's not meant to not only not take it, it's also not meant to take it in those levels because in order to nourish the body, you don't need it in those tremendous levels, okay? So for example, if you get a quality Camu powder, one, one teaspoon of Camu is, is going to yield approximately 200 to 250 milligrams of whole food, full spectrum, whole complex vitamin C. Now, most people would say, well, what's 200 to 250 milligrams? Well, if 
you're only absorbing from ascorbic acid, let's just say 10, maybe 15%, if you're lucky. If you absorb, let's say 10%, you would have to take in 2,000 milligrams of a synthetic form of vitamin C to get that same exact amount of pure vitamin C. So why not take something that's just going to give you that wholesome, uh, nourishing effect? And that's what foods, superfoods, and herbs do. Okay, guys? So I hope that this has cleared up some of the confusion, and I hope that this has steered folks who are used to using handfuls of isolates, handfuls of pills, and whatnot, to go towards more of a whole food complex or powders and things of that nature that are from a whole food. Okay, everyone, I hope this has been an educating video for you all, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.